Hi, welcome to Chris's Tips, Tricks, and Things, the show where I talk about things that maybe you'll find interesting or helpful. Today, I want to share with you one of my favorite tools of all time. You may never have heard of it before, but it's super awesome and super handy. It's called a jeweler's saw. Why is it called a jeweler's saw? Because it's a saw jewelers use to cut jewelry. Now I know what you're saying, Chris, I don't make jewelry, so I don't need one of these fancy saws. Well, you may be right or you may be wrong, because these are actually really handy for a multitude of other cutting tasks. You know what's great about a jeweler saw is the blade. Look at how thin that is. It's like the size of a human hair. But the incredible thing about having a blade that thin is you can cut out super intricate details with it. Who needs a laser cutter when you can get a $15 saw to do the same thing with a lot more work? You can get lots of different sizes of blades, but the ones I use all the time are number zero or spiral blades. Make sure you get a bunch because you're going to break some. Clamp one end of the blade into one side of the jeweler saw with the teeth pointing out and down toward the handle. Sandwich the saw between your body and some immovable object and then squish it together to compress the frame while clamping the blade in place with the other thumb screw. Slowly let off the pressure with your body and test that it's all nice and tight by playing it like a tiny little guitar. If you hear this sound, you're good to go. You can easily make a board with a keyhole cutout in it to support your work as you saw. Hold your saw vertically and cut on the downward stroke. All right, let's see what kind of materials this baby will cut through. Make your own foam puzzle. Well anyways, I just thought I'd share this with you because on the next project I'm working on we're actually going to be using one of these babies. So get ready and get your jeweler's saw. Boom. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Let me know what your favorite tool is for making crafty things. See ya.